Hello, in this session I will talk about steps to install Hadoop on a personal computer. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. We understand that Hadoop is a Linux based software and it runs on distributed computers. The best way to get good at Hadoop is to do hands on with it and to do hands on exercises you need to have access to Hadoop and one way of getting access is to have it installed on your personal computer. Most computers at home have either Windows operating system or OS X operating system. So how do we go about installing a Linux based software on Windows or OS X operating systems? The approach we are going to take will let you install Hadoop tools on any operating systems Windows, OS X, Linux or even Solaris. First we will install a virtual machine software on our personal computer could be a laptop or even desktop. So once virtual machine software is installed, we are going to then import a virtual machine in which Linux operating system would be running. So now we have Linux and Linux is running on a virtual machine, virtual machine is running on your personal computer. So this way we have taken the operating system of the personal computer out of the equation because this virtual machine is available for most operating systems and within Linux we will have Hadoop tools running. So this way we will achieve what we want and not only using a virtual machine is beneficial because it takes the host operating system out of the equation but also it's very easy to manage the software running within the virtual machine. You can take snapshots, you can copy or clone virtual machines easily. It makes management and maintenance very easy. The virtual machine that I will be using is Oracle VirtualBox. You also have a choice of using VMware server. Oracle VirtualBox is very easy to manage as compared to VMware but both are good options. And we will take an easy approach. We will not be installing Linux software on the virtual machine and then installing Hadoop on Linux. We will simply download an appliance and import the appliance on the virtual machine software. Now we are in the virtual machine era so what we can do is we can simply download the whole virtual machine on which somebody has else has already installed Linux as well as Hadoop and it could be downloaded as a file and the term appliance is technically used to refer to a hardware and software together and it is also referred to soft copies of the virtual machines that are downloaded as files because when you install this file to a virtual machine software you end up having a computer with software already installed on it and this is a virtual computer of course so the Hadoop services would be running within Linux and Linux is running within virtual machine and on the personal computer we will have a browser and we'll open up the browser and we will connect to the virtual to the virtual machine and that's how we will access Hadoop in terms of the hardware requirements you need 3 to 4 gigabyte of RAM on your host computer 4 is the best because 2 GB will be occupied by the virtual machine so only 1 to 2 will be left for the host computer. If you have only 2 GB you can still try it. You have to downsize the virtual machine. I'll show in the videos how to do that. Downsize meaning you have to tell the virtual machine to only use 1 GB rather than 2. By default it is designed to use 2 GB. Not too much hard disk space is required. Just 10 GB or so extra space on your computer will do the job. 5 GB this space will be used by the virtual machine itself and 2 GB is will be occupied when you download the Hadoop file and uh, some extra space is required for downloading virtual machine itself. So here are the steps that we'll be following. We'll be downloading the virtual box software, we'll install the virtual box software, we will then download the Hadoop appliance, we will import the Hadoop appliance into the virtual box and then we will configure the virtual machine before we start it then we will finally start the virtual machine and test the connection from our host computer through the browser